Hello, hello. One more, one more crappy, crappy video. My videos are not. My videos are not good, but I don't know. The problem is, it it takes so much time. It's to edit uh, the videos, so <laughs> I'm making these unedited videos here. And uh, every time, I never say exactly what's saying. This morning, I was thinking about um, an idea I had, uh, um, an idea about space. Let's suppose suppose a planar a planar surface. Uh, you have uh, x y z coordinates. Mm, a planar surface x y x y coordinates. But uh, the Earth is not a planar surface, it's a spherical surface, because Earth, Earth is spherical. So, everything changes, the geometry changes. You cannot use, you cannot actually use Euclidean XY coordinates uh, on, on Earth, because we are actually living on a spherical surface. So, let's take this, this idea further. Let's suppose the entire universe is not uh, three-dimensional XYZ um, space. Let's suppose that uh, the universe is a fourth, four-dimension, four-dimensional uh, space. A four-dimensional spherical space. Just like, just like the, the Earth. Because uh, the Earth is a spherical surface, but we could we could have a spherical space in in the fourth in, in fourth dimension. What happens? What happens on Earth? When you when you are on Earth, you can travel to any direction. North, south, west, east, it doesn't matter, any direction. You eventually, you travel around the entire planet and return to the starting point. You'll be back at the starting point. <coughs> so in the same way, in a spherical space, you could travel to any direction and eventually you would go round the entire universe and return to the starting point from the opposite direction. That's what would happen in a spherical space. And in a spherical space, when you look at the sky, at the space, at any direction, you're actually looking at the same point, same point in the universe. You are actually looking at the other side of the universe, exactly opposite point in the universe. But why, when we look at the space, every place we look is different? Why? Because we are looking at the same point in space from different directions. That's why the space looks different. And Every every direction, but in a spherical surface, we are actually looking at this exactly same point in space. What else? Another idea. Um, I still I still don't know how to work this. I don't know the translation in English. Is in Japanese it's called dum dum meng. Um, I don't know how to say this in English. Um, transversal, transversal cut. I don't know. When you cut, when you cut a uh, cut a slice of a sphere, you you get a circle. In the same way, if you cut a slice of a fourth, four dimensional object. You get a three-dimensional object. 
In this case, if, if the universe is a four-dimensional sphere, if you cut a slice of it, you get a three-dimensional sphere again. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. If you cut a slice of a, s a sphere, you get a circle. If you cut a slice of a four-dimensional sphere, probably you get a three-dimensional sphere. Oh, I, I think so. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly. Because I, I don't know the mathematics of it. But that would be very interesting because the geometry would change. The geometry of the space. If you consider this, that space is actually a four dimensional space, not a three dimensional space. Albert Einstein, um, in his relativity, relativity theory, um, he says that uh, the universe is a four-dimension um, space with uh, time being the fourth dimension. But in this case, I'm not considering time. I'm not taking this view. I, I'm taking the geometrical view that uh, I'm supposing that uh, space is actually a four-dimensional a four geometrical object. And not just an object. I'm, I'm uh, supposing that it's, uh, it's a sphere. Just like the Earth. When you take a planar surface and convert it to a sphere, I'd like to take the three-dimensional e Euclidean space and turn in turn it into a sphere a four dimensional sphere one consequence of it of course is the the concept of distance when you are on earth uh, what is the distance between two points on the surface you can travel to another point on on Earth, uh, using an airplane, or you could cut through the Earth, cut through a tunnel, and going directly to that other point by taking a, a straight uh, straight line. Because the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, but you, you cannot go straight, you cannot travel a straight line on a spherical surface. But suppose you could travel cutting through the earth, um, drilling a giant, giant hole, and uh, actually having a straight line between these two points, you could have a shorter route to another place on earth in the same same way we could imagine we can imagine uh, how to travel in the universe by ha by having a straight line between two points in the universe by cutting through the sphere supposing that the universe is a four-dimensional sphere. Okay, I have to think through these ideas a little more. <laughs>